Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about Ain't No Grave by Scotty Young and George Corona. So, <clears throat> I've I've been having a bit of an issue with with reading recently, and I've I found it quite difficult to read multiple different books and it's been something that's quite frustrating for me because I I do love to read my comics I really do and every time I pick up a, a book a physical copy of a book that I really want to read after a couple of panels my eyes start to get a bit fuzzy and I, I can't really read and it's, it's been really frustrating and I'm still having ongoing tests but <clears throat> I want to keep reading as much as I can and I came across this uh, as one of my digital downloads. Now, I know very, very little about Scotty Young, other than the fact that he did, well, I think it's an incredibly, incredibly popular image series of I Hate Fairyland, <clears throat> um, which I'm pretty sure is about a very small girl who goes into a magical place and just starts killing all of the mythical creatures and, and such. And it sounds kind of interesting, but I know virtually nothing about it I have to admit don't know um the only other thing I know about Scotty Young is he's quite well known within within the industry for doing the childlike caricatures of, of popular figures uh that he's done for like DC for Marvel even for some of the bigger uh image characters as well And I don't think I've ever actually read a Scotty Young comic. So I was quite intrigued to see how he does this. And I wasn't too sure about what it was going in. It, it looked like a Western kind of thing. Uh, and it was. It, it is a Western set around a, a, a woman who seems to be potentially maybe some sort of, uh, of outlaw who has settled down with her now family. And she gets a terminal illness and she decides that's it she wants to go off potentially back to her her roots of what she used to do and we get snippets of her her sort of old life as it were um with her family in in, in between the the sort of the current story and it's it's quite interesting in the fact that for me this character is not a good person. Um, in current events, she holds a gun at a child. And when her mum, the child's mum, sees her, instead of trying to clear, thing, um, clear, clear things up by talking, she does a massive move where she then turns the gun on them uh, before running away. Um, the fact that she left her, her husband and her daughter... Because she got this terminal illness and then she just went, I've got to go. It, without explaining to them what she wanted to do, without talking them through or or even to have the kind of discussion whether they would want her to leave. You know, if, if she's got this terminal illness where with the medication that the doctors have given her, she could live an extra year. Would her close family not want her there? But she decides, no. Um, so it, it's an interesting character in the fact that she doesn't seem like a good person. She doesn't seem like a terrible person. Like she, she's killing, like she's not killing children or she's doing anything outrageously bad. But she doesn't seem like a quote unquote hero. So I think that's what makes her, her, her journey throughout this first issue quite interesting. And... Uh, for the most part, I think the story is good. By the end of issue one, you find out what her purpose is, of why she left her family. And um, I might I might try and check out the next few issues. I'm, I'm a bit undecided on it, to be honest, because from what I thought going from the first couple of pages or so, it very much seemed like a... Yeah, a realistic story told in a sort of mythical Western era, I guess. Um, 
but then towards the end it, it, it goes out and out kind of like sci-fi thing which i don't mind um and maybe if i'd have known that going in i wouldn't be resenting it a little bit but i think i think for me if, if you go in completely fresh you should start as you wish to continue um so if if, if what you're showing is traditional western keep it as a traditional western start if you want it to be some sort of have a sort of fantasy element then have the fantasy element sprinkled throughout just so people are aware of what you want to do i think i think overall it, it seems it seems okay it, it could be a good story um i might check it out but who knows um there's a couple of things that i didn't quite like about it i have to admit the artwork i'm i'm not completely sold on there are some incredible landscapes and for anyone that has uh, followed me in in my review journeys i love landscapes i really do i think they're absolutely stunning and i think to see some of the, the sort of the, the wasteland of, of of that kind of time that's like the sunrise sunset with just a, a sort of tree silhouette it, it, it looks phenomenal <clears throat> but i do think some of the the facial features on, on many of the characters can be quite angular which it, it doesn't quite sit well with me and i know that's probably scotty young's preference of, of what of what he does but it, it it's not it's not my thing i have to admit um the other thing for me is i don't mind swearing i don't mind violence um but i think i think there's what two two or three swear words in in this this book which which is is minimal virtually nothing and yeah okay in, in any other book it'd be like yeah okay fine but because it's set in in a, like a traditional western environment to have those swear words that aren't accurate for the time put me out a little bit um and it, it, it it's a shame because as soon as they're said it's said for dramatic effect i have to give it its due it is said for dramatic effect and i think maybe for most people it will come off like that but for me, it, it brought me out of the story because although it's said for dramatic effect, it's not the kind of language they would have used in, in that kind of time. So that's a bit of a shame. But <clears throat> but overall, I, I think it's actually a relatively good read. Um, and it does make me want to pick up some of Scotty Young's sort of other work and see what he does. As this is a limited series of, of five issues, I might check it out to see to see how it how it continues. I think they're probably on about the third issue by now. Uh, considering this one came out in i think it was like may um but who knows who knows what's going to happen um overall i I'd, I'd give it a solid maybe sort of five or six out of ten it, it's nothing absolutely amazing that's going to blow everyone's socks off but i wouldn't say it's the worst thing i've ever read it's it's okay <clears throat> but guys if you have read ain't no grave please let me know what you think about it down in the comments below don't forget to like, share and subscribe because it really does help me out and I'll see you all in the next video.